Hey guys, so welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. On this video, we are going to be smoking a pork butt, but something I've never done before, we're going to be brining that pork butt, and we're going to be doing it the Traeger way. So let's get going. All right, so here's our pork butt. It's about a seven and a half pound bone-in pork butt and it's been brining for about 12 hours. And what I did is the night before, last night, I went ahead and created my brine, which was eight cups of apple juice, four cups of water, half a cup of Worcester sauce, half a cup of salt, and a half a cup of dark brown sugar. And that's it, nice and simple. Mix that all up until the, the sugars uh, uh, combined with the liquid, threw my pork butt in there, threw it in the fridge and just let it hang out. All right, so let's go ahead and get our uh, pork out. It smells incredible. I already got an aluminum tray here. We're gonna transfer it to uh, the tray. All right, so we're gonna coat our our pork butt with some barbecue rub. I'm gonna use Killer Bee uh, Honey Rub Chipotle. About to add a little spice to this. Use whatever rub you like. Just give this a good coat. And I'm also gonna layer on a little bit of sweet honey pecan rub. To get that little extra sweetness in there. All right, I'm gonna let this hang out while our Traeger gets up to 250 degrees. I'll see you out on the grill. All right, we got our Traeger 250 degrees. I got some maple pellets in there. And I'm just gonna get the pork on inside the tray. Another thing I haven't really done either, I've seen people do this on, uh, you know, the Barbecue Pitmaster TV shows and uh, a lot of comps, they leave the pork in the tray. So I thought I'd give that a try, a little something different. So again, we'll keep an eye on this. Uh, when it gets to the color I like, I'll probably foil. But that's about it. So I will see you in a little while. All right, guys. So here's our pork. Uh, it was it was a long day, a very busy day for me. That's the beauty of a pellet smoker is you can get to this meat on early and just let it smoke while you go out and do your things. Uh, we put this on at 9.30 this morning. I uh, cooked about, I don't know, 11 and a half hours. Around, I don't know, 165, I went ahead and uh, foiled it. Um, you can see there's a lot of moisture in here. Let's see if how this bone comes out. Nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this pork into a, another pan. There's a lot of juice in here, and I don't, you know, I want to add the juice uh, to the pork as I see that I need it. So let me get this transferred over. All right, got it transferred over, and at this point, we're just gonna shred this along. All right, we got this all shredded up. Again. 250 degrees on the, the Traeger uh, pellet smoker didn't do a whole lot um, the only difference I did with this was brine this for 12 hours overnight in that apple juice uh, salt sugar that wishes sauce uh, and then get it on the smoker total cook time was uh, about 11 and a half hours internal temp it got up to the 190 almost 195 and then I started testing it for tenderness using a probe and when I felt that it was tender enough, that's when I pulled it and then let it rest for about an hour. So my main goal here was to test or to see if brining does make that huge difference. So let's give this a try. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's see if that brining process does make a huge difference. It's definitely moist. I do get that heat from that, uh, that Cosmo Q uh, honey the, the killer bee honey rub with the chipotle in it adds a add some spice to it it's got some sweetness 
It's definitely juicy. It's got a good smoke flavor. I'm not 100% sold on the, the brining technique. Um, I've made pork where I haven't brined it. Uh, tastes somewhat the same. Uh, maybe I need to brine it longer. Uh, maybe I need to use a different type of brine. So I'm not fully uh, fully convinced yet. Uh, how many of you guys out there uh, actually brine their pork butts before smoking them? I'd like to hear from you guys. Uh, leave a comment below. What's your technique? Did I do something that's different or that I should have maybe not do? Uh, the one thing I did like about using the pan when smoking, uh, it collected all that juices and I actually saved it right here. I did uh, strain off the fat and I also added a little bit more apple cider vinegar to give it a little more twang to it. So I'm gonna actually try this to see uh, how this tastes. This is killer. This is something I'm definitely gonna do again. Uh, very flavorful. Let me know how you guys do your pulled pork. Uh, do you guys brine it or not? I, I, I'd, be, I'd love to hear that, um, your di different techniques. Leave a comment below. And also hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next round. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.